Please explain to me the differences between time and money weighted returns. I will be happy to. Time weighting eliminates or reduces the impact of cash flows, while money weighting takes the flows into consideration. Why would we want to eliminate the effect of the cash flows? In those cases where the portfolio manager doesn't control the flows. You see, if the client controls the external cash flows and adds money, at the wrong time, for example the peak of a market just before it dips, the portfolio might lose money. But since the manager didn't make the cash flow decision, they shouldn't be penalized. Or, if the client invested at the bottom of the market, they should not be rewarded. What do you mean by an external cash flow? External flows are contributions or withdrawals of cash and or securities, into, or out of, the portfolio. Contrast this with internal cash flows which occur within the corpus of the account, such as purchases or sales of securities and income. Okay, thanks. So now tell me about money weighted returns. While time weighting reduces or eliminates the effect of cash flows, money weighted returns take the flows into consideration. And why would we want to do that, since the manager doesn't control the flows? Interestingly, there are several reasons for this. For example, there are times when the manager does control the flows, such as for private equity, where the clients typically make a capital commitment. The manager doesn't take the cash until they have somewhere to invest it, at which time they will do a drawdown or capital call. Also, at the sub-portfolio level the manager controls the purchases and sales, so these decisions should impact the returns. Does this make sense? Yes, it does. But why then do most firms use time waiting at the sub-portfolio level? Probably because that's just the way we have always done it. In the late 1960s, when these concepts were introduced, we didn't calculate sub-portfolio returns. And so when we started to, firms just went and used the same formula they did at the portfolio level. Today, more and more firms are realizing they should be using money waiting to measure the performance of securities, sectors, etc. Makes sense. Is that it? I should also mention that we should use money waiting even when the client controls the flows. You are kidding, right? You are confusing me. You said we use time waiting at the portfolio level to eliminate the flows because the client controls the flows. Sorry, I do not mean to confuse you. We do use time waiting at the portfolio level to show how the manager did. But we should also use money waiting here to show how the client did. That is, to show how their cash flow decisions impacted the portfolio. Often, the money weighted returns are more intuitive. How do we calculate the returns? We use formulas such as the modified deeds, and true daily methods for time waiting, and the internal rate of return, or IIR, for money waiting. Well, was that helpful? Yes, very. Thank you. You're welcome. So, would you like to go somewhere and get a drink?